Welcome back to another adventure with Alex and Alyssa. Alex is currently sitting beside me playing a game, but that's okay. He is here at least. Uh oh. So, <laughs> June 26th of last year, my husband and I went to Jade Cave, which is Chungbu Hwalok Donggul, the Korean name anyway. When you go to that area, there's also the Jade Cafe. You can go to a convenience store and they might have a restaurant in the convenience store area. We didn't really look for it. We instead went to the Jade Cafe and we actually had a meal there. It was also a little bit pricey. You know, this is definitely a tourist attraction. Everything's price was a little bit more than what you would pay anywhere else that's not a tourist place. Now, going there, it took about two hours by car. I have no idea how long it'll take by bus, but when I looked on Google Maps, the amount of stops you would have to make and the amount of walking you would have to do from the location where I live, it said it was like nine hours. That cannot be true. I'm sure there's got to be a faster way there. There's no way they have this many people coming and all by car. Anyway, that's just my idea. So basically, I recommend car. Now, while we were there, we decided to do the kayaking, which is inside the cave as well. When you get into the line to buy the ticket to go into the cave, you must also buy the ticket to go on the kayak. So you have to decide before you go in whether you want the kayak or not. And then you buy the ticket there. Now, due to COVID, there's a whole signing in regimen that you need to do, which is super fun to do. Can't wait for COVID to be over. Fair in Frere de Ray. What's that? Far in Frere. Uh, far in Frere, yeah. It's something they do for you. It's like a sun ray. Oh, oh I guess. Wanna go? Let's try. Oh Are we supposed to like take anything off? No. Something about you can sit down or. Ah, it's like a sauna. Mm. Wait, sit on that? Yeah. Does it say to do that? Yeah. Then why are there seats over there? Oh, it's warm. The city that we are in is called Chungju. And Chungju, like back in the old days, it was the center. It was the center of what? Center of Korea. Ah, oh, okay. That used to be the meal, dining size. Look at the size of the rice right there. Yeah. See that? It's a lot of rice. I don't know. Now, going inside the cave, there's lots of places to stop along the way until you get to the kayak. At this point in time, when I took the videos, the kayaking was one of the last things that you could do at the very back of the cave. But they were still doing renovations and they're still upgrading it and adding new things to see and new things to do. There is, oh, let me see. There was an indoor arcade in the cave, yes. In the cave there was a wine cellar that was actually kind of cool to see there are two or three different types of gift shops you can stop and buy things along the way or on the way out they do recommend that when you go in you stick to doing everything on the left side and then on your way back out you can do everything that would have been on your right and then that way you're not crossing over and maybe missing something along the way there are so many things to see and then when you go in there's also a historical section. So parts of this video I have left open for the historical section so that you can hear what my husband is saying. Now, listen to it, enjoy it. If you want to see what else there is to do in the cave, I took so much footage. You can enjoy every aspect of it as if you were really there. We also took footage while we were on the kayaking. My husband did do all the paddling and I just took the video. That was great. So I'd like for you to sit back, relax, and watch the rest of the video. Enjoy the 
on-site commentary in different areas. Now, also, before I sign off on this part of the video, click like, subscribe, and if you want, leave a comment below. Maybe you've been there. Tell me what it was like. Okay, enjoy the video.
Like, like real wasabi wasabi. This is the like, wasabi but, comes from a plant? No, it's 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 the root itself. Ah. So this is I, I think this is the one that we eat. Yeah. In, uh in some. Yeah. Like it tastes spicy. Oh. <laughs> That's kinda some, cool. Uh, what were the did he say what the red lights were for? Mm. Hey, he heard that red light it's good for the plants because the ray actually goes down to the food. And what about the white lights? Sunlight. Just the sunlight. Ah, oh, okay. Wasabi came from, you know, a, a plant. Oh, here's the. Ready for this? Break it down. 